and welcome to my kitchen and tonight we're gonna do a roast chicken in the cast iron skillet Greek style come and see how we do it To get started, I have a thawed natural chicken, and I have washed it, rinsed it inside and out, and I have it in my cast iron skillet. I have put about two tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of the skillet, and I quartered a medium-sized onion. As you can see, I didn't even peel it. This is a Vidaya onion, so it's a nice sweet onion. When it roasts, it's going to get delicious, and it's going to permeate and perfume the chicken. So what we're going to do to make this Greek style is put the flavors of Greek cooking into this chicken. And what I did um, <clears throat> was I, uh, I went out to my garden and I picked some rosemary and some oregano and some bay leaf. And we're just going to kind of perfume the chicken with those. I'm just going to stick them in the middle here. I'm going to squeeze a lemon. This is super simple cooking here. I'm going to put the lemon inside the chicken. And I have um, a whole head of garlic here that came out of my garden. I'm going to pop that. I'm going to pop half of it apart and put it outside the chicken and then put the other half inside the chicken. But first I'm going to cut the top off of it so that it is nice and ready to release all of its oils in there. Now, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my olive oil bottle here. And I'm going to get some of my chicken rub. My sedged chicken rub. And there's that right there. Shake is worthless. Pour. This has all those same spices and then some in there. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pop a string around the legs just to tighten everything up a bit. There you go. Cut off any excess to get rid of that. Now, We're going to pop this into a 450 degree oven for about a half an hour. Then we're going to reduce the heat to 350 and we're going to cook it until it's done. This should take about 45 minutes to an hour and we'll be back when it's time to put it in the oven. I think I'm going to put this directly on my stone. I'm going to roast it in the lower part of the oven at 450 for about a half an hour. I'm going to turn it down to 350 and roast it for another 20 to 30 minutes. So it may be in there between 45 minutes and an hour. We'll be back when it's ready to go. It has been 45 minutes and we're going to take this beautiful bird out of the oven. Look at that. Now, the only way to make sure that your bird is completely cooked is to take its temperature. You want it to be at least 160 degrees. And you don't want the thermometer to be touching the bone. You want it to get up to 160 and we're slowly approaching and believe we're going to surpass. Maybe just a little. We're dead on. We're dead on. Okay, what's going to happen is this is going to carry over cook and everything is going to settle. The juices are going to redistribute. You don't want to cut into this for about 10 minutes. So what you do want to do though is, see this is one of the reasons we left this, the skin on the onion because then you can just discard that part and having sit down on this oil, the onion is beautiful. I mean, look at how delicious mm -hmm. that looks. Um, 
yeah, we're just going to go ahead and let this rest. And then when we come back, we'll fix you a plate of delicious Greek-style roasted cast iron skillet chicken. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're all ready to serve dinner. I went ahead and I carved up the chicken and I put it on a bed of this delicious uh, herb lemon garlic orzo that I made in another video. I thought it was the perfect presentation. This is perfect for any day of the week. It's great for a weeknight, it's great for a Sunday dinner, or it's great if you're gonna be having company over. You can roast two or three of these chickens at the same time if you have to, and you're gonna be able to feed a bunch of people. You throw in a little of this herbed orzo, and you're gonna really just knock them dead. Uh, this orzo is also delicious served cold. You can add a little extra vinaigrette to it and eat it as a salad. Add some chopped onion, some chopped tomato, and you're good to go. Tomorrow for lunch, you can chop up a little chicken and do what I said, and then this is a great salad to take to work with you. So I hope you try this Greek-style cast iron skillet chicken. I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!